Welcome back to another BTS. This one's gonna be a bit different because we had an amazing crew to make this project possible. About a month ago, myself and two of my friends, Aaron, who was the incredible writer in the video, as well as the co-creator of the concept, and Tyler, who was a behind the scenes filmer, we went on a ski trip to British Columbia, Canada to film this amazing project. The concept behind the video is the journey of the snowboard. The first half of the video is at the snowboard shop where the board is being taken out of the box, being set up, and then being put into the bag. We were very fortunate to have a good friend of mine, Daniel Schiffer, film that part of the video and his famous handheld b-roll style which added so much to the video and made it that much better if you haven't seen that part of the video go check it out on his channel he posted a behind the scenes on how he made his magic happen again while we were working together to figure out how to make this video really entertaining we came up with the idea to clamp the camera to the snowboard and have it put inside the bag the bag gets zipped up unzipped and now we're at a different location Next in the video, we actually want to show Aaron hiking in the deep snow. <laughs> Strapping in and then starting the ride of a lifetime. For the chairlift shot, Aaron had to hop on one by himself for a 25 minute ride. In order to get some of those crazy epic shots you saw in the video, we had to do one to two hour hikes in really deep snow and it wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it because the views were absolutely insane. Once we got to the peak of the mountain, I got a bunch of footage of Aaron walking through the deep snow to create the sequence where he's trying to find the place he's gonna start his ride. For the last shot of the sequence, I actually got him to stop after a second of riding. Because this video was filmed in a bunch of locations, we had to find very creative ways to make all those flow together. In this shot, Aaron rode down for a few seconds just to make it seem like he's starting to go down. And then we cut to the next shot where he's already in motion and he's about to go off the edge of the mountain to make the viewer feel like it was the same sequence the entire time. The biggest advantage of filming a snowboard video was that there's a lot of snow, meaning that there's a lot of wide areas where you can pull off seamless transitions. One of my favorite ones is when Aaron is riding down the mountain, slashing snow onto the camera, covering the lens, and then cutting to the next shot where he comes out of one of those snow clouds. Throughout the video, I had a few more opportunities to create similar transitions to this one. Don't know if you agree with me, but I think some of the most epic shots in this video are the POV shots of Aaron riding down the mountain. To achieve those, you need two things. First thing you need is a way to mount it. For example, a head mount or a chest mount. What we use is a mouthpiece because it gives you the most realistic first person perspective. Second thing you need is some sort of action cam. Any action cam will do the job and will look absolutely epic. For our video, we use the GoPro Max 360 camera. The reason being is because it allows you to capture a much wider angle than any typical action cam. GoPro's term for it is super view and it's literally a uh, super view. I'm gonna link both the mouthpiece and the GoPro down in the description just in case some of you wanna try out that perspective. For the video, we mixed in footage from the GoPro as well as the Sony a7 III on a Ronin S. We tried to capture as much BTS footage as possible, but with how good of a rider Aaron was, it was sometimes hard to capture that behind the scenes footage. So unfortunately, there isn't really a footage of me filming Aaron. However, there's something much better and that's the bales. So let's take a look at those. Crazy. Now we have to figure out a way how to end the video. Because we're sticking to the concept that the entire video is one single ride, the last shot of Aaron riding was him going into the forest, which leads into the next shot of him coming out of the forest into the final location. In this sequence, we wanted to get creative and funny with it, and we knew that at one of the places that we were staying at, there was gonna be a hot tub, so we tried to figure out a way to incorporate it. That's when we came up with the idea of Aaron passing by a tree and his gear flying off which would mean he would have to ride to the hot tub in his briefs in the cold snow. Like I'll, oh no, I'll switch boots though. Cause these will take too long to... Fair enough. Oh no, I could do these ones. Nope, they gotta come off. To get my pants off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, you dudes. <laughs> Good luck. Let's 
get some get some turns in. Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. Wonderful, actually. Thanks for asking. I'm not cold. You said I'm cold. The simplest way to achieve this was to set up a camera on a tripod in front of the tree and capture three different shots. The first shot was Aaron passing by in full gear. The second shot was him passing by in his briefs. Now what we're gonna do is toss all the clothes from the right side of the tree to the left side of the tree to make it look like his clothing flew off of him. Because the camera was on a tripod, it was very easy to use the tree as a masking point to combine all three shots and make it very seamless. And here's the result. All that is left to do now is filming Aaron riding through the hot tub, getting out of the snowboard, placing it beside the hot tub, getting in, and just relaxing. We thought this would be a really funny way to end the video. It's not really expected, but it works perfectly. To make this video really engaging, I spent a lot of time in sound design, so I'm gonna play you the video with just the sound. This project was an absolute blast to make. We had an amazing crew. I got to see such a beautiful part of my country and got to enjoy some of the best snow I've ever ridden in my life. I'm excited to share many more of these. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and notification button to ensure that you don't miss the next project we do. Follow me on Instagram as well as Aaron, Tyler, and of course Schiffer if you're not already following him. See you in the next one.